Hey, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about video editing, specifically Microsoft's new ClipJam program, which is an awesome free editor that you can check out. So to get started, you're just going to want to go to office.com. This is going to take you to where it says, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. What you'll do is just click this link, and then you're going to set up a free account for Microsoft 365. It will give you access access to a number of different apps. Okay, so once you have your account set up, you'll be taken to this screen. This is kind of like our dashboard. It's going to show us all the recent files that I've opened here. And what we want to do is access ClipChamp. Now you can see it's all the way to the right where it says video. But if that's not there for any reason, if we go up to the top, select on these tiles, we're going to go to ClipChamp and that will automatically open to the ClipChamp page. All right, here it is. We are now on the ClipChamp dashboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, let's see, I'm gonna go down, I'm going to create my own video. And here we are, this is ClipChamp. I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough in the, in the coming days, you'll see some more tutorials on ClipChamp, but basically it's a simple web-based video editor. So if I click on the tab that says record and create, you can actually record your own videos on here. There's a way that you can do a, a screen and camera if you wanna record like your desktop background, you can record yourself in that in that scene, it kind of gives you a preview up here. You can also just record yourself if you want. Then there's ways that you can record things like your screen audio and a really cool text-to-speech feature, which we'll talk about again. There's also different templates. You probably saw that on the page, but if I click on some of these templates, you can see it will just sort of give you templates for videos, almost like the video version of like a Canva kind of. Now, some other options as well, ways to add text transitions and then there's this option brand kit again very similar to canva but there's also this tab that says content library where you can search through a number of different visual elements to create your video so you don't need to have existing footage you don't have to have a whole bunch of video saved you can just do that directly in clipchamp now what you're able to access is dependent on your plan right now we have the free version if you want to use a lot more of the footage from the content library you're probably going to have to upgrade but if not one of the things that you can do is import your media. So if you have media that already exists, you already want to just edit videos, this is a great tool. Again, something that's free and will let you do that easily. But what I want to do is show you a little bit about the content library. I want to go through and make a video and show you how easy it is to create video content in ClipChamp. So what we'll do first is just search, and I'm just going to do a search for, I'm going to do dancing. And you can see there's a number of different videos, music, that sort of thing. But look in the corner, anything with this uh, diamond here, you have to upgrade to use that content. You can try dragging it to your timeline, but you'll see in a second, it doesn't actually show up. Yeah, there we go you with this kind of thing. So you're not going to be able to use this. So if you're using the free version and you wanna see what content you can use, we're going to have to click right over here to where it says free only. And it will go through and show me all of the free content that's there. I'm going to just filter this down to just do videos. So now we're just looking at videos which are free to you. So what I wanna do is just take a couple of these videos and add them on my timeline. So this one looks kind of cool. I'm just going to click that. Let me take some of the uh, old people right over here. There the old people are. Let me do that nice uh, wedding dance. And I'll also do uh, this young woman right over here. Okay, so I have four video clips that you're looking at. Now, as you add them, you can see that it goes through and, and it imports them. It does take a second or two in order to get those up and ready to be previewed. You'll see the preview right here in the middle of the screen. Okay, all my footage has been uploaded. Now, one of the things you'll notice that you can do, which makes it a little bit easier to see all of your clips, just kind of zoom out. I'm just gonna zoom all the way out. I can see the four clips that I uploaded. If I wanna go through and watch this, I can just take my playhead like this and I can push the play button. And now I can watch the content that I've uploaded. Okay, kind of cool. Now, this goes on for a little bit longer, so I'm just going to trim this a little bit, just like that. You can see that now this has been trimmed to about five seconds. I'm gonna take this clip now, and I'm going to drag this here, but one of the nice things you can do in ClipChamp is just delete this gap, 
And now that comes right side by side with this clip, kind of like that. I'll trim this one here. Okay, let me trim that down again, about five seconds or so. Here's our nice wedding photo. I'm just gonna, our wedding video of bride and groom dancing. I'm just gonna leave this the way it is because this is kind of a short clip. And now we have our dancer at the end. All right, so you can see right about now, we're looking at about a 37 second clip. Now, I showed you how you can kind of trim the front and the back, but what happens if you want like a clip in the middle? It's really easy. All you're going to do is to kind of put the playhead to the part that you want. Let's say like right about here, and I'm going to click on this scissor tool. Okay, that's my first clip. That's my first cut, I should say. Now I'm gonna do the same thing like right over here. That is my second cut, so I'm just gonna cut that again. And now I have three clips, but the one in the middle is the, the clip that I want, so I'm just going to get rid of this one get rid of this one and now I'm just going to delete this gap and my video is ready here's a quick 30 second video if I sort of play it you'll see this play right over here inside our player here's the next video you get that sort of thing okay so a few other things you can do now we talked a little bit about the text if I click text you can see there's a whole bunch of different templates for your text that you can add on here now I tend not to use these very much but for this one, let's just take this one. I'm just going to put a, put this text right over here. I'm just gonna double click on this and I'm going to say, welcome to, and I'll just say clip champ. Now I'm just gonna play around with the color. I'll switch that to like a yellowish color, let's say. All right, there we go. Now when I play this, welcome to clip champ. Okay, again, if I need to extend this, I can just sort of extend that like this. Let's see the next one. There we go, and now I've got that. Now I can make this as long or as short as I want. I'm just gonna kind of leave it for that first clip. Now, the last thing I wanna do before we export this is I wanna show you how you can create a transition from one video to the, from one clip to the next. So all you'll do is just kind of take the clip you want. We are going to go to transitions, uh, the number of different transitions that are on here, it looks like for the most part, they are available for free. Although it looks like at the bottom, there are some that you do have to upgrade for. So I'm just gonna say something simple. I'll say cross blur. I'm just gonna put a cross blur here. I'll put, put a cross blur there. And then let's see, can I put something at the end? I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna do a fade out. We'll say a two second fade out at the end of this clip. Now, when I watch this back and play it back, there's our cross blur, one clip, blurs directly into the other one. So pretty cool. Now the last thing that I want to do is to add some sound to this because that's something that I don't have. So I'm gonna go back to my content library. Again, I'm gonna leave dancing. I'm just gonna say dance on here. This time I'm gonna get rid of uh, just videos and I'm going to switch to audio. Okay, and you'll notice that there's a number of different songs. Let's take a listen to a couple. Okay, here's another one. I'll just take this one. I'm going to hit add to timeline. Just sort of drag this. So it's right over here. Again, just like how the video clips have to load. This one has, the audio has to load as well. Now I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to split that by uh, tapping the S key, or I could have also used the scissors right over here. Now let's check this out. All right, so you get that, that idea. Uh, just kind of a cool way to use, start using ClipChamp. It's completely free. If you're just looking for a free editor, I think this may be one of the best options that's available. All right, so now this is done. Let's go ahead and export this. So I'm just going to click export and I'm going to do 720. Again, for some of the uh, higher quality, like something out of 4K, you do have to upgrade. But again, if you don't have any 4K media, you can just choose this option. 
there's several different options on here for you um, that, that you can select uh, where you want to send this directly to your OneDrive. You can also save this to Google Drive, a number of different social media sites, including YouTube. I'm just going to call this Dance. And now in a few minutes, I'll be able to see what this video looks like. Okay, so it looks like this is finished. If I just press the play button right over here, we can see what the video looks like over here. Now, you can also see the link where it's directly inside my OneDrive that I can click and share this, but I also have the option that I can click download and save that to my computer. And of course, you can also upload that to YouTube. So that's it. Like I said, I plan to share a lot more on ClipChamp, but this is an awesome resource if you're looking for a free video editor. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content, it would be great if you could subscribe or leave a donation showing your appreciation. So thanks again and have a great night.